Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. We bring in a different business to try and get to know a little bit more about them. And today I'm happy to say that I have Jerry Phillips with PhilTech. And Jerry, welcome to the show. Hi Jeff. Yeah, yep. So it seems like you've been in business for quite a while. Um, mm. About 35 years. Uh, okay, and, and how did you get started? How did you get involved with this business? Hmm, well, uh, in the 1970s I was working at an Annapolis Navy Research Laboratory and I bought the first commercially available fiber optic displacement probes back then and I used them in my work and I was very intrigued by them and I got to learn about their advantages and uh, some of their uh, limitations. Now the slogan at that Navy lab was uh, from research to reality. So I'm thinking wow this is cool. I'm going to make some proposals to the Navy funding agents to develop what I would call a reflectance compensated fiber optic sensor. Unfortunately, they didn't value my proposals very highly and they never funded it. So fast forward to 1985, I start this company and I start the direct, the development of the RC sensor. And in 1988, we actually introduced the world's first reflectance compensated optical sensor. And in this graphic, that we're showing now is what we use at trade shows at that time to promote the fact that PhilTech was the only company that offered both types of sensors. We call them reflectance dependent and reflectance compensated or RC for short. Well, that, that's interesting that the Navy didn't see uh, a need for it in the future, which I guess turned out being great for you mm -hmm. and your business. But why don't you tell me a little bit you know, about what these sensors do and you know, what do they measure? Hmm. Okay. Well, um, this is an a, a sample of a, a standard sensor of ours. We actually call them displacement sensors because they're actually measuring distance or displacement of a target that light is being reflected off of. For example, if my hand would be the target, we're measuring the gap or space between the fiber optic probe and this target. The operating range that we operate over is a maximum of three inches, 75 millimeters. That's as far as we could uh, see something accurately. Most of the applications that we have, though, we find that the actual gaps or distances are very short. They're very close because these probes are almost always inserted inside a mechanism like a, oh, a compressor or a valve or, or an engine. And uh, so they're measuring small amounts of motion with high amounts of accuracy and with high speed. And that's one of the advantages of a fiber optic type probe. Now, in this graphic we're showing you now, um, there's the, we have two types of probes. We call them D models and RC models. The D models can only measure single axis motion, which is common in like a piston or a, a, a valve or a, say a diaphragm, something that's vibrating just back and forth. The RC type sensor is more of a general purpose kind of a device because it can measure not only single axis motion, but if the target is rotating past the sensor or, or just translating, moving across the sensor, the sensor, it could measure the distance accurately to it because that particular sensor is, is blind to reflectance changes. So that could be used for like in turbine, turb turbines and whatnot? Oh, yes, absolutely. And um, because it's a fiber optic product, it could be used in extreme environments for example, we have customers who are building cryogenic turbo pumps, uh, developing new rocket engines, and they're using our sensors uh, in their uh, development uh, testing uh, to make sure that the, their designs are working uh, optimally. It's uh, pretty high-tech stuff. Yeah, sounds like it. Great. Yeah. So what else would you like to tell us about uh, PhilTech? We rarely sell standard off-the-shelf products. It's most applications require special customizations of the probe system, uh, the tip, the cable, and even the electronics in order to optimize it for a particular application. Most applications require special designs for getting the probes mounted in hard to reach places and in extreme environments. Our staff is very happy to help with custom designs and sensor selections. It's what we do. Fran Katzif has been our office manager for 20 years and she's the best one to get you started. Chris Osborne is our software and application engineer and he could help you with more detailed questions. For vacuum and high pressure applications I would be the best one to help you. 
at our website, you'll find there are many options available for customizing the sensor tips, the fiber optic cables, and the amplifiers. When you have a tough measurement problem needing a solution, give PhilTech a try. Well, thank you for uh, your time today. Really appreciate you coming in and explaining a little bit about your business. And for those of you out there that are interested in learning more, uh, the website, I'll put it back up at the end of this video and you can feel free to contact Fieldtech or, or Jerry or Fran or Chris and they'd be happy to help you out. So that's it for this week. We'll see you next time.